Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Amir Khan. Amir, how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Good. So you're still boxing yourself a bit, aren't you? Or That's you, right, yeah, yeah, I'm still boxing. Um, and um, I just had that feeling, you know, I went to get into promotion. Yeah. And um, when I saw John Joe fighting in the Olympics, I said, he's the first guy I want. Why, why? what was it you saw? I, I just loved his style because I was in the 2004 Olympics and he reminded me, you know, myself, um, I won a silver medal there as well and I just missed out from the gold medal. Mm -hmm. And the way he put on um, a fight in the finals against the Englishman, it was always going to be hard against the Englishman because, it, you know, they were hosting the Olympics. We actually didn't think great... in this country that it was going to be hard. <laughs> we, we practically were barely going to bother watching because it was, such, it was going to be such a moment. Well, you know, he put on a, such a great performance and Luke Campbell, I, I know, I was in the same training camp as him when I was an amateur and he put such a great performance on and he just kept pushing and pushing and I thought, if he was a professional, he'd be an amazing fighter. So I was on the phone straight away as soon as he finished the Olympics and here we are now, he's, he's professional with me and I'm honoured to have him in the team. Yeah, okay. Now, um, the thing about the professional game is that it's obviously, it's very different and, and uh, it's, it's a kind of a big change in lifestyle and all that kind of Definitely. thing. Definitely. Yeah, so you... It's a big change, you know, um, it's a full-time job. Yeah. Um, and, you know, John Joe knows that it's going to be a tough task, you know, to be, be a champion and, and I do think he will become a champion. As long as he works hard and trains hard and stays focused and stays disciplined, then I'm sure he'll go all the way. But it is tough, you know, the fight, the, the rounds are longer. Um, you can fight up to 12 rounds. And John Joe's fought um, a couple of times. Um, it, uh, uh, five rounds, five three-minute rounds, also yeah. four three minutes and three three minutes. So Because you, you, did, you did a bit, bit of kind of semi-pro stuff. Yeah, during the WSP, yeah. So he knows what to expect. And yeah. um, like I said, he's a, he's a class fighter and that's why we wanted to sign him up. Yeah, and you, but you also, you, you know he's a home bird and you kind, you kind of agree actually that he should kind of do, stay in, in Ireland as much Definitely. as possible, yeah. We had a chat about that and I, and I, and I think uh, he should stay in Ireland because he has such a huge following in Ireland um, and I really think that it'll be amazing for him to train here, um, get the media behind him, get all, all the fans behind him as well and his fan base is only going to grow. Uh, you know, he's a good looking lad and, uh, <laughs> and you know, he can fight. And he can fight as well. And uh, I'm sure, you know, he'll sell a lot of tickets and he'll be a superstar one day, definitely. So then next time he comes back here, is he going to be a world champion, you reckon? I hope so. Next time I'll be sat here with John, uh, you, uh, John Joe, he will be a world champion. Let's hope that, guys. Because, you know, he's going to be behind him. But he's, um, he's going to be, it's going to be tough, you know, it's going to be easy. Um, but his first fight is going to be uh, on the 19th of January. That's going to be at the MEN Arena in Manchester. And okay. so we're looking forward to that. We have a huge fan base uh, of Irish in, in Manchester and they're all looking forward to see John Joe. And, 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 and that doesn't mean we're not going to come to Ireland. We are going to come to Ireland as well and put a show on for all the Irish fans as well. OK, but the first one, January in UK. And do, January 19th, yes. Yeah, so John, John Joe's going to we don't to, know who he's boxing yet. We, we don't know who he's going to be boxing, but that's going to be his first fight, his debut. And we want all you Irish fans and everyone to come and support him. And, and let's get right behind him. I'm sure they will. John Joe, I know the, the last I read a few weeks ago, you were talking to Germans about um, a, a four-year deal over there, and you had you had other offers as well. Why did you decide to go with Amir? Um, you know, Amir being a boxer himself, you know, he knows what to expect and know what's about. Um, he'd know what actually I'd want and um, how he'd been treated in the past. You know, and I think it's great to go with someone that has been, you know, with the pro game and. As a boxer and thing, not just a businessman coming up with a few pounds in his pocket, you know. Yeah, yeah. Telling him yeah. what to do. Okay. We have a very similar, you know, um, boxing, you know, like history in a way because yeah. John Joe was in the Olympics, so was I at such a young age. And he wants to, he, every fighter's dream is to turn professional. And I want to advise my fighters, you know, I've made mistakes in my professional game and I don't want my fighters to make those mistakes and I want to treat them and advise them the right way. Um, they are gonna, I'm sure there was millions of promoters who wanted to sign him up. But um, I think he's made the best choice because I will take him right to the top. You think he's made the best choice for me? I, I believe <laughs> I, I'm going to always Damn say right that. Either. Yeah, okay. but I believe that because I'm an active fighter. And, um, you know, I'm already in the ring fighting and, and I understand yeah. the business and I have a great team around me. And, and you know, I, I, I believe that we, we are the best who can look after him. Yeah, so you're going to look after our boy, yeah? Definitely. And listen, the, the next time we see you back here, will you be world champion? Hopefully. It's the plan anyway.
All right, good man. Listen, John Joe, good luck with it, and you know the, the whole country is behind you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, John Joe Nevin and Amir Khan.